Hey, hello there, how you doing? Today's video will be going over how to download the My Hero Academia mod for Minecraft. This will be an easy, easy video, step by step, show you how to do it exactly. As always, if you're new around here and want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe, turn on the notification bells, and if you enjoy the video, smash the like button. With that said, let's get right into it. Alright, so the goal here is to download the My Hero Academia mod from curseforge.com and to do so you want to go to Google. So just be aware you need two mods to play this mod. You need Forge 1.16.5 and you need My Hero Academia Minecraft. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just search this right here and we'll click the first link that takes us to CurseForge. And from this page we'll click the Files tab. And from the Files tab we'll go ahead and click this download button and you'll see this is for 1.16.5. Click download. Once you download you just wait 5 seconds until the download automatically appears at the bottom left corner just like this and you click keep and I'll save it to your downloads folder. All right, from here we go back to Google and we're gonna search for Forge 1.16.5 and we'll click the first link. And from here you wanna make sure this is indeed 1.16.5 and go ahead and click the download latest installer. You'll wait for uh, about six seconds up here until the skip button appears and just click skip and it will ask you to keep the file at the bottom. And just be aware, this file is not harmful whatsoever. Just your browser is going to always warn you about Java files, which is this .jar file. Just click keep to save to your downloads folder. All right, next up, you want to open up your Minecraft launcher. Again, this is for Java edition only, um, and you want to have 1.16.5 already downloaded. And if you don't have that, just go up to the installations folder, go to new installations, and name it whatever you like, and just come down to this version drop down and find 1.16.5 which is here and then click create at the lower right hand corner i already have it so i'm not going to do it go back to your play menu again make sure you have this 1.16.5 selected if you don't select it and then click play button all right so once it loads up you've downloaded and successfully installed minecraft 1.16.5 you need this to download forge without doing this you cannot download forge for this version so once it's done go ahead and click quit and we will download forge next Alright, so what you want to do is go back to your downloads folder. You should have this Forge 1.16.5 and all you need to do if you have Java already installed, not Java Minecraft, but Java the platform, you just double click it and the installer should show up. To make sure you have Java, just right click, go to open with, and you should see a Java TM platform SE binary or something like this. Now, if you don't have this, that means you don't have Java and I've left a link below for you to download Java yourself, but let's go ahead and double click it. And once you do that, a little window installer shows up like this. You wanna make sure you install client and click okay. All right, at this point, go ahead and open up your Minecraft launcher once again. You should have already successfully downloaded Forge. And if you did, you should notice a 1.16.5 dash Forge installation ready to go to play if you don't just go ahead and check the tab if you don't have it here go up to new installations or installations new installations go to versions and make sure you have that 1.16.5 dash forge just click it and then click create at the bottom right hand corner okay so now we click play so when minecraft loads up you should see something like this you now have a mods button just simply click into that and you'll notice that Forge is loaded, but no other mods is loaded. So to do that, click the Open Mods folder. And what this will do is it will open up your mods folder in Minecraft. So in this mods folder, what we're going to want to do is simply just drag the My Hero Academia mod into the mods folder. You can also copy and paste, but I'm just going to drag it and we should be ready to go. Go ahead and close this, close that, and you can just exit Minecraft completely. And once you exit, we're going to go ahead and restart the launcher because obviously we need to restart the game to make sure the mods are actually loaded. So make sure we're at 1.16.5 dash forge and click play. All right, so we're back in the main menu. Click mods and you'll see that you have My Hero Academia mod already loaded up. So we are good to go there. Go to single player and create a new world. Call it whatever you like. Be sure to turn on cheats if you want to ever use them and we'll do survival mode. Create a new world. And so once you create the world you are in, as you can see, I already have a uh, outfit on, and this is not a brand new world, but you, you get what's happening here. You got an AK for some strange reason, you know, a uh, nice gun. You can see at the bottom right hand corner, you got some new uh, graphic display. That means something. I don't know what it means. But this is what it looks like. You get a bunch of mobs that pop up, and you do notice at the bottom right hand corner, you have new abilities. I think if you click R, you could use your abilities. Be sure to check the controls and options if you don't know how to play uh, and don't know what the keys are, but should be simple. Uh, I am in creative mode because everyone here would probably just kill me immediately. And that pretty much does it. Hopefully you learned how to install the mod successfully. If you have any questions or having troubles, please let me know in the comments below or you can join my Discord while I'll hopefully message you as soon as possible and I can help you one-on-one -on -one there. Thanks again for watching. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.